let me show you when you look at the eyeball now this is the eye if we cut it in half that's right that your eye shouldn't look like this and don't try it at home <laughs> when you pay attention to eyelids whenever i was looking at poster like this or similar i always was noticing one thing this huge gland in the lower eyelid and upper eyelid now imagine that there's about 40 of them in the lower eyelid and about 40 of them in the upper eyelid it kind of brings a question why eyeball that's all that you see in a human needs so many of those big oil glands so the only answer is those oil glands produce something very very important to the surface of your eye when your eyelids close and open they draw oil from oil glands this oil gets deposited on the surface of your eye it provides moisture it provides protection for for tear film for water tear film and it actually captures all the allergens and dirt and all those things in a few seconds you're going to close your eyelids again and pump it to the back of your throat through special channels you do this 20 times a minute in order to have a healthy tear film, healthy functioning of your eyes, the surface of your eyes, you have to have a healthy oil glands, healthy tear production from tear gland, as well as mucus that is produced on the surface of your eye. Do it 20 times a minute. Now, when you go to your doctor and they tell you, you have a dry eye, here is a drop. Are you able to put it in your eye 20 times a minute? Because that's what this system does for you without you even thinking about it. When this system, when those oil glands become inflamed, the openings to them become inflamed, they, when they get clogged up with dirt, when bacteria gets inside of it and multiplies, which we call a sty, this system gets broken. We actually can see under microscope on some people, little notches in the eyelid. Those notches indicate dead oil glands. You don't want to get in a situation like this. Imagine windshield wiper with notches cut out in it. What kind of a job this windshield wiper is going to do when you drive in the rain? You have to keep this area healthy. In order to keep it healthy, you have to keep it free of bacteria, free of inflammation, and also allergens, if that's possible. Which is impossible. Which is impossible. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Dr. Luca. You're welcome, Dr. Shelby. So your tear fit.